Okay, so I ran into an issue that I've noticed a lot of folks have been having. Uh, that is, once you finish doing some brake work, you um, are unable to bleed either your front or your rear brakes. Uh, this especially is common in old GM trucks, but apparently it also can happen in old GM cars as well. So today I'm going to get into how to reset a proportioning valve. This is an 1984 Chevy K20. This should be a pretty similar process for all square body trucks, maybe some slight differences here and there. This truck has discs in the front and drums in the rear. All right, let's get to it. So in these square body trucks, the proportioning valve sits in a cross member directly underneath the fan shroud in the front. It has a few different lines coming out of it. This line and this line both go to your front brakes. This line and this line go to your master cylinder in the engine bay. The smaller of the two is typically for your front disc brakes and the larger is for your rears. There's a line coming here that goes to your rear brakes and tees off in the back. This right here is your brake light sensor. That's what turns on the light on your dash if you have any issues with your brakes, you know, if you're low on fluid or if you have a leak or something like that. So before we get into how to reset a proportioning valve, just a quick explanation on what it does. Your proportioning valve divides your brake system into two sets, um, your front set and your rear set. It controls the amount of brake fluid that goes to each and it's especially helpful if you ever have a leak in one of your brakes. It'll basically turn off the fluid that goes to that set of brakes so that way you don't lose all of your fluid and you still have some brakes as you drive along the road. Right in the center here, sitting directly underneath this brake light switch, is a little spring-loaded switch that if it detects a leak in the system or essentially a loss of pressure, it'll kick over and block off that side. So if your rear brakes, you know, have a leak, this spring-loaded switch will kick over this way and that will shut off all the fluid going there so that way you still have fluid going to your front lines and vice versa. So if you have a leak in your front brake system, then the switch will kick over and block off the fluid that goes here so that way you don't lose more fluid and you can still use your rear brakes. So in my case, I had just changed out the master cylinder, power brake booster, and both brake lines going to the proportioning valve from the engine bay. After I had done so, my rear brakes were not bleeding. I was just getting a small trickle of brake fluid out of them. I really wasn't getting much. Um, my front brakes were bleeding fine. You know, I definitely still had those when I was driving around, but the brakes still felt soft. So I knew that the proportioning valve needed to reset because it was blocking the fluid from the rear brake line. So basically what we're doing is we're creating a loss of pressure and whatever brakes are, whatever set of brakes are not blocked off by the proportioning valve switch. And by doing so, that loss of pressure will make the switch inside the proportioning valve try to go over and block off that new loss of pressure in the system and in the process will reseat itself back in the center. So essentially, if your rear brakes are blocked off by creating a loss of pressure in your front brakes, that switch right here will move over, try to block off the fronts, but in the process get reseated in the center. And same thing for the fronts. If you have your front brakes shut off by the proportioning valve, you create a loss of pressure in the rear brakes, and that will move this switch over back into the center. So the first step I did was to bleed my brakes as best that I could. I got all of the air out in the fronts. Um, my rears, again, were blocked off. Next, I had somebody sit in the cab of the truck and stomp on the brake pedal really hard about five or six times. And the last time that they stomped on the brakes, I had them hold the pedal all the way down to the floor. Meanwhile, I was underneath the truck. So while somebody was in the cab holding down the brakes after that last stomp, I was underneath the truck and I cracked open the bleeder screws in the front. This shot brake fluid everywhere, but what it did was it indicated to the system that there was a loss of pressure in the front. I closed off the bleeder screws after a few seconds of them being open. And once I closed them off, I let the person in the cab take their foot off the brake. I had to repeat this process a few times, but I think for me it was about two or three times and it ended up working. I went back through, I rebled my brakes and everything was good. So yeah, that's it. Um, maybe one thing to consider is to keep an eye on your fluid level in your master cylinder. Just make sure that you don't bleed that dry. Otherwise you're gonna have to pull off your master cylinder and bench bleed that. Um, this ended up working very well for me and hopefully it works out for some of you as well. All right, till next time.